Shisha. You know this song? No. <laughs> no. You got the tempo? There are morning songs as well as <laughs> so the morning song, Viva Varishesha, so is one. Bhakti Vinodako. Viva Vari Shesha, Aloka Provesha, Nidra Chari Uto Jiva. Viva Vari Shesha, Aloka Provesha, Nidra Chari Uto Jiva. Viva Vari Shesha, Aloka Provesha, Nidra Chari Uta Jiva Viva Vari Sesa Aloka Pravesa Nidra Chari Uta Jiva Bolo Hari Hari Mokonda Morari Rama Krishna Haya Jiva Na 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhir Hayat Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Er Bhavati Naishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 4 Chapter number 31, text number 13. Shreyasam apisarvesham Shreyasam apisarvesham Atma yav, Atma yavatir Atma yavatir Sarvesham api bhutanam Sarvesham api bhutanam Harir atmatmada priya Harir atmatmada priya Shreyasham api sarvesham Shreyasham api sarvesham Atma yavadir arthatha Sarvesham api bhutanam Sarvesham api bhutanam Harir atmatmada priya Harir atmatmada priya Shreyasam api sarvesham Shreyasam api sarvesham Atma yavadir arthatha Sarvesham api bhutanam Sarvesham api bhutanam Harir at atmada priya Harir atmada priya Tell Shreyasam api sarvesham Shreyasam api sarvesham Atma hyavadir arthata Sarvesh 
Shreyasham of auspicious activities. Api certainly. Sarvesham all. Atma the self. He certainly. Avati destination. Artata, Artata. Factually. Factually. Sarvesham, Sarvesham of all, all. Api certainly, certainly. Bhut Anam living entities, entities. Harehe Hare. Supreme, Supreme Personality of Godhead Atma the super soul, the super soul. Atmada, Atmada, who can give us our original identity, Priya, very dear. Very dear. Translation. Factually, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the original source of all self-realization. Consequently, the goal of all auspicious activities, karma, jnana, yoga and bhakti, is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You can repeat. Factually, the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the original source of all self-realization. Self Consequently, Consequently, the goal of all auspicious activities, activities karma, jnana, yoga and bhakti, karma, jnana, yoga, and bhakti is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. The living entity is marginal energy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the material world is the external energy. Under the circumstances, one must understand that the Supreme Personality of Godhead is factually the original source of both matter and spirit. This is explained in 7th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. You can chant, you know the verse? Bhumerapo nalo vayu kammano budere vacha ahankarai tiyamme bina prakritir ashtada Apariyam metasvanyam prakritim vidime param jiva bhuta mahabaho yedam daryate jagat. Earth, water, fire, air, ether, mind, intelligence, and false ego, altogether these eight comprise my separated material energy. But Besides this inferior nature, O mighty armed Arjuna, there is a superior energy of mine which consists of all living entities who are struggling with material nature and are sustaining the universe. The entire cosmic manifestation is but a combination of matter and spirit. The spiritual part is the living entity and these living entities are described as prakriti or energy. The living entity is never described as purusha, the supreme personality of Godhead, 
Therefore, to identify the living entity with the Supreme Lord is simply ignorance. The living entity is a marginal potency of the Supreme Lord. Although there is factually no difference between the energy and the energetic. The duty of the living entity is to understand his real identity. When he does, Krishna gives him all the facilities to come to the platform of devotional service. This is the perfection of life. This is described in the Vedic Upanishad. Yam ivaishasi vrinute tena labhyas tashyaisa atma vivrinute tanam swam. Lord Krishna confirms this in Bhagavad Gita. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajitam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yena mam upayanti te. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. The conclusion is that one must come to the platform of Bhakti Yoga. Even though one may begin with Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga or Astanga Yoga, unless one comes to the platform of Bhakti Yoga, self-realization a realization of the absolute truth cannot be achieved. Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militandena Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama Vanchakaupatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavan Hebyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Narada Muni is instructing the prachetas. How many prachetas? How many prachetas are there? You know? Ten thousand. <laughs> no, not ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Only ten. ten. <laughs> the prachetas, the sons of Prachini Barisha ten prachetas and they all went off to do austerities and they got instruction from Lord Shiva and from Lord Vishnu They're very fortunate they became self-realized and, and but still <laughs> they had some problems uh, anyway they approached what happened was they were doing meditation Narada Muni came to them and they were very happy to have Narada Muni come to them. They knew Narada Muni to be a great soul. <laughs> What's wrong? You're going to tra some translation to Russian. Oh, you want translation? Russian? To Russian, yeah. Really? I was just giving class to Russia this morning. They were saying, could we join the class at Zurich? Because they said, if we, <laughs> they're Russian. They wanted to join the class. <laughs> but they thought you were going to translate to French or something, or German. How many speak Russian here? Two. Just the two. And we also, but we four. also understand now four in English. Mm, really? Good. Okay, so you can do it sentence by sentence, I don't mind. Where's the microphone then? Okay, I should like. I'll go slow. <laughs> sentence by sentence, yeah? Uh? Sentence by sentence. 
If you like, yeah. No? Okay. But it's it's more simple. Yeah, I can send them myself. Okay. Alright, so Narada Muni has come to instruct the Prachetas. The Prachetas said, we're very attached. We're very attached to uh, the material world. So please help us. Although we've had instruction from uh, Lord Shiva and uh, Lord Vishnu, we'll be happy to also have instruction from Narada Muni. So Narada Muni is uh, explaining to the Prachetas that the Lord is the real purpose of all self-realization. So Srila Prabhupada points out that both the material and spiritual world have their origin from the Supreme Lord. There are two natures, there's the material nature and the spiritual nature. But they both come from the Supreme Personality of God. Mater common people, they only think of the material world, they never think that there's a spiritual world. So Srila Prabhupada in the purport was uh, quoting from the Bhagavad Gita 7th chapter the elements of the material nature, eight elements of the material nature. And that material, the material nature is described as the separated energy of the Lord. Bina Prakritir Ashtada, it's separated from him. Uh, Prabhupada gives the example, he said, just like milk is the separated energy of the cow. Or Prabhupada was saying, just like my voice is being recorded, so I said, the recording of the voice is the separated energy. Sim similar in material world, men and women may be separated from each other. They may be married, but they may be separated. The relationship is not so, int so intimate. So this material energy is Krishna's separated energy. It's not so, the Lord doesn't have so much, uh, he doesn't reside here eternally. And then he goes on, Lord Krishna is describing, seventh, he's describing about his prakriti, his energy. And he mentions there's another energy, beside this energy of the elements, the ma this matter, material, there's another energy which are the living entities. So we are the living entities, all living entities, Tosi Maharani and the trees, so many trees that are around here, they're all living entities and we're all prakriti of the Lord, but we are superior prakriti. This, this is uh, inferior prakriti, no consciousness, right? There's no consciousness in the floor. There's no consciousness in the, in the microphone. But the living entities, the trees, the animals, the plants, they're all conscious. 
They have consciousness. So they are superior prakriti. But still we're struggling with the material nature. Why, why are we struggling? That is explained in a, another verse in the Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says, Mame Vamsa Jiva Loke, Jiva Buddha Sanatana, Manashastani Indriyani, Prakriti Stani Karshati. That we're trying to exploit the energy, we're thinking it's for our enjoyment. We should understand it's all Krishna's energy and it's all meant for his enjoyment. But because we have consciousness, we are thinking it's just for our enjoyment. We want to enjoy independently of him. So self-realization self is to understand, first of all, our own self, as that we're not the body, that we are the superior prakriti, but we have a relationship with the energetic, the source of the energy. We are energy. Where does the energy come from? There has to be a source. Everything comes from somewhere. So we are the energy, the Supreme Lord, He is the energetic and He is the origin of all energies. So the purpose of self-realization is to come to understand the Supreme Lord and how we are meant to be engaged in His loving service. So there are different processes by which people can become self-realized. Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Astanga Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, <laughs> so many different yogas. But the goal of all of these things is to come to understand the energetic, that there's a personality of Godhead. So in the first six chapters of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna is explaining the yoga ladder, the connection between these different yogas. And we see in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains even Karmakanda. Karmakanda is a mater material activities which are done simply for material benefit. Karmakanda is not even on the yoga ladder. It's just a material process so that we can enjoy the material world. And generally most uh, like Hindu temples or mo even most places of religion, they're simply thinking like that. They think religion is meant for material benefit. That I worship God, I pray to God and He will solve all my problems. And they, 
people don't think there's any higher purpose. They think God is just someone we go to when we have problems and He will help us. But self-realization is to help us to understand, first of all, our, that we're not the body, and then go on to know our relationship with the Supreme Lord. In the material world, the Kali Yuga, there's so much atheism in the world today. People don't believe in God. Of course, in communist countries, they indoctrinate everyone into that thinking. And if you go to China, in China, everyone who goes to higher ed, who goes to college and school, even schools and colleges, the main subject is the, uh, the 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 teachings of Karl Marx. <coughs> Karl Marx, he he said, religion is the opium of the people. So, even in Western countries, you've got a lot of atheism. You've got people, even, in, in, even people who are so, supposed to be educated, they're atheist, very atheistic. They think there's no, they think it's just for sentimental people believe in God. They don't see any science in it. But what they call science is the most ridiculous things. They have the most foolish theories. Anyway, the Srimad Bhagavatam is meant for those people who are, have a little bit intelligence and want to understand more about the nature of the world. So the Prachetas, they were inquiring from Narada, they wanted to hear from Narada Muni because they, they saw Narada Muni to be a very enlightened personality. So they were happy to hear from him. And he's telling them that the whole goal of our meditation and our austerities and our practice, that it must bring us to consciousness of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Otherwise it is simply useless. Srimad Bhagavatam says, duties executed by all men are only so much useless labor if they don't bring, give any attraction for the message of the Personality of Godhead. So, it doesn't matter how many books you read, how much knowledge you have, doesn't matter how much austerities you may perform, how much charity you may give, how much sacrifices you may perform. 
But if you don't develop any devotion for the Supreme Lord, it is a waste of time. So all self-realization processes are meant to lead to bhakti. Until they come to bhakti, their self-realization is not complete. Karma yoga, karma yogi, he wants to enjoy the material world. He wants to enjoy the results of some activity. And once he gets the results, he will give up. He will stop. He won't do anymore. I have got what I wanted. Someone else said, Jnana Yogi. Jnana Yogi, he wants to get liberation. Once he gets his mukti, then he's, he, he, he's not going to practice anymore. You can go to some Mayavadi ashram in India and you'll see they worship deities of Radha and Krishna. They chant Hare Krishna mantra and they read Bhagavad Gita and so on. But their goal is simply mukti. And they think once I get mukti, then stop everything. Just like Mayavadis uh, in the impersonal school. What, in, in, when they take sannyas, then they cut off the shika and they take off the Brahmin thread. Because they, they think now they're liberated, now they've become God, they've become one with Narayan. And just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sannyas. He took the cut. There was no sika. There was no brahman thread. He took sannyas. He took sannyas in the line of Shankaracharya. So they take off their sika and the brahman thread. And when you meet, meet them, you're supposed to say Namo Narayan. I offer my obeisances to you, who is who's one with Narayan. the Stanga Yogi, they, their goal is Samadhi and that Samadhi is just trance, just simply nothing, do nothing, just simply be a, in, the tr in, in the trance. But one who does Bhakti, they will do Sadhana and they will continue that sadhana even after going to the spiritual world. Here we're chanting Hare Krishna, we're worshipping Krishna, we're hearing the scripture. In the spiritual world we'll continue with these activities. We won't worship deities in the spiritual world. Krishna is actually there. You can dress Krishna, you can play with Krishna, you can cook for Krishna. Krishna is there and not just, of course the, he's here in the deity, he's here as the deity, but he's personally there in the spiritual world. So here we're train we're preparing ourselves to go there to be with Krishna. We want to practice worshiping Krishna, dressing Krishna nicely, offering articles to him for his pleasure. All of these activities we we continue to do them. We don't stop. 
We don't think, oh, I've read the Bhagavatam, I've read it, I'm not going to read it again. We read it again and again. We keep reading it more and more. We don't think, oh, I, I've chanted Hare Krishna, now I'm finished. We never finish, we can never chant enough, we can never hear enough, we can never chant enough, we can never do enough service for Krishna. So, Krishna consciousness is Sanatan Dharma, the eternal occupation of the soul, eternally serving Krishna. Right? The, the constitutional position of the living entity is described, Jivarsvarupahaya Nitya Krishna Das, that our constitutional position is to be the servant of Krishna. And that is constitution. They don't change the constitution. They, they keep that and they base their, everything as based on that constitution. So our constitutional position is to be the servant. Krishna is the master, we are all servants. We never become the master. Material world people are all thinking how to become the master, how to become the controller. But devotees, eternally the servant. And there is more pleasure in being the servant than in being the master. And that is why Krishna himself comes in the mood of a devotee to experience that pleasure. So it is bhakti yoga which is the culmination of all the yoga practices. At the end of the sixth chapter, Lord Krishna said, Yogi nam apisarvisham, Yogi nam apisarvisham, Madgatenan taratmanam, Shradavam bhajate yomam, Same yuktatamomata. Of all yogis, the highest yogi is the one who is always engaged in thinking of me and engaged in my transcendental loving service. Such yogi, he is the, the best of all. So bhakti yoga is at the top of the yoga ladder and it, it, we are trying to come to that platform. One who does bhakti, he is also a karma yogi, he is also a jnana yogi, he is also an astanga yogi. It's all included within bhakti. Karma yogi is detached from the result. So a devotee is also detached from the result. We give all the results to Krishna. We are working for Krishna. So a devotee is also karma yogi. Karma yogi does their duty, mean to perform your duty in a detached manner. So we also perform our duty as devotees. Whatever different duties we have, we try to perform them for the pleasure of Krishna. A devotee is also a jnani. A jnana yogi, because the devotee also knows about Lord Krishna, 
and his different forms and his different energies. We know how Krishna creates the world and we know how Krishna reciprocates with his devotees. And a devotee is also an astanga yogi. Astanga yogis meditate. They're absorbed, right? That if you do astanga yoga, that yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, and then the meditation begins. After the pranayam come, prachahara, dharna, dhyana, samadhi, all different levels of meditation. So devotee, in bhakti yoga, we're always meditating, remembering Krishna. Smartavyam satatam vishnu vishmartavya na jatukrit sarvi vidi nisayrasho etayor evakinkara. The regulative principle, the primary regulative principle above all principles is always remember Vishnu, never forget him. So in this way we understand the Bhakti Yogi is also a Karma Yogi, a Jnana Yogi, Anastanga Yogi. It's all there within Bhakti. So you're not losing anything if you come to bhakti, it's all there within the devotional process. And more, the perfection, the goal of all the yoga is there in bhakti. So Narada Muni is encouraging the prachetas that they should also be devotees. They were congratulated, you know, they all went together uh, to do their austerities and, and they, they, they all cooperated with each other. And so the Lord told them, he said, I'm very pleased with you that you've all cooperated so nicely with each other. So that is the main feature, the main difficulty in the Kali Yuga. The Kali Yuga is the age of quarrel. It's easy for people to argue and divide, separate themselves. But if they can put aside these differences and work together, cooperate together, then it's much easier to achieve the goal of life. The most important, it's very important to have association. We cannot just simply practice bhakti yoga on our own. We need to get association. It's very important for us. It's essential. And that's why the Prachetas are so happy to have Narada Muni and to hear from him and they're inquiring from him. Okay, any questions? Yes? Uh, Maharaj, I have a couple of questions. Yes? Um, my first question is, like, who, who is an authentic yogi? And then interconnected question is like how to empower ourselves and the third one is <clears throat> the world is very very complex and very strong. How to defend our innocence and simplicity? Alright, so who is, a gen who is the real yogi? Yeah, authentic yogi? Authentic yogi. We have to know what is the meaning of yoga. Yoga means to link with the Supreme.
So yoga means to link with the Supreme. Uh, so the real yogi, an authentic yogi, he has to connect with the Supreme. He has to... One who is connected to the Supreme, then they will control their mind and senses. So yoga, pr primary, the primary stage of yoga is to learn to control the mind and senses. So an authentic yogi must have control over his mind and senses. He cannot be engaged in, you know, well Srila Prabhupada saw when Prabhupada was in New York in Manhattan and when he began in 26 seconds and nearby there was a, a yoga, there was a yoga ashram. Is yoga popular here in Switzerland? Huh? Some people? Yeah. So uh, in, even in Prabhupada's time there was this yoga and so they, they would all go and do their yoga and, and they would meditate and the teacher would say to them, meditate, now you are controlling the moon. Now I am controlling the moon. <laughs> now you are controlling the sun. Now I am controlling the sun. And after the yoga they would all go outside and smoke cigarettes and you know go for a, a beer and stuff, you know. Uh, and so, you know, that kind of yoga, you know. The show bottle yoga, not authentic. Okay. Second question. Uh, Maharaj, second question is how to empower ourselves. Like sometimes the world is very complex, and most of the time I don't even understand it. Uh, but how how to prove ourselves? Being a devotee, we can't attack anyone. We can't discuss anything but we still have to protect our honor and our i mean not the false ego but um, how to how to empower ourselves and defend ourselves well we empower ourselves by faithfully chanting the holy name of lord krishna the chanting of the maha mantra will empower you to perform your duty as a devotee all devotional activities can empower you for the pleasure of Krishna. The more you try to serve Krishna, the more you will be empowered to do wonderful things on behalf of Krishna. We say mukam karoti vachalam pangam langayate girim By the mercy of the spiritual master and by the mercy of Krishna, a lame man can cross mountains, a blind man can see the stars, a dumb man can recite poetry. <laughs> you become empowered by the mercy of Guru and Krishna. And how do you get the mercy of Guru and Krishna? You follow their instructions. You have to follow the instructions, Prabhupada's instructions. Then you become empowered. If you're a faithful follower of Prabhupada's teachings, you'll be empowered. Yes? And more questions? Uh, actually, I, I do have one more question. How, how to overcome the obstacles in sadhana? Yes, the obstacles in sadhana. You overcome the obstacles by devotion, by doing more devotional activities. The obstacles will be removed the more you do devotional activity. The more you chant, the more you engage in Krishna's service, all the obstacles will be removed. Prabhupada said, with one kick of my foot, I will remove all the obstacles from your path. So, take shelter of Prabhupada and Prabhupada will help you to overcome all the obstacles. Thank you. And Lord Brahma also describes that the, all the obstacles can be overcome by Bhakti. 
Yes, when the go, um, uh, uh, how does it go? Uh, there's a verse in the Brahma Samhita which describes that Lord Krishna or Govinda burns up to the root all fruitive activities of those who are imbued with devotion. He removes all the obstacles, he takes them all away by our devotion. So, you can get rid of all the obstacles just by taking full shelter of Prabhupada and Prabhupada will take you to Krishna. You follow the instructions, you do as Prabhupada did, chant Hare Krishna, worship Krishna and the obstacles will all be removed. Devi Hesha Gunamaye Mama Maya Duratyaya Material energy is very difficult to overcome. Duratiya, very difficult to overcome the material energy. Mam eva ye prapajante mayami tam tarantite. If we surrender to Krishna, then it becomes very easy. So, surrender. How to surrender? Do you know how to surrender? You have to accept everything favorable for devotion. Means chanting. You have to chant. You have to do service. You have to hear, come and hear regularly. And you have to associate with the devotees. And you have to give up the bad things. What is bad? intoxication, meat-eating, gambling, an illicit connection with the opposite sex. These things, these sinful activities have to be avoided. Then there will be obstacles are created by our sinful activities. You can remove that by devotional activities. But you have to give up all the sinful activities. You have to stay away from all sinful activities. Yes? Any other questions? The Russian devotees have any questions? Yes. Maharaj, I think that the Lord created the material world perfect. Mahamaya is very strong. И мы не можем понять Кришну, пока мы не будем воспевать святые имена. And since we are in Mahamaya, we cannot understand Krishna until we chant the holy names. Мы или идем по судьбе, которую нам назначает Кришна, или воспевая имена, и это все у нас разделяется. We either uh, go by the uh, fate, which is created by Krishna, or we chant without without uh, chanting the holy names we cannot understand the class even and other things first we Yes, Prabhupada said chanting, when you chant Hare Krishna, that's the beginning of your Krishna consciousness. But you have to go on. We don't just chant only, you have to also hear. You have to understand why we're chanting. You have to understand the teachings. You have to understand you have to know something about Krishna, you have to hear about Krishna's activities. Mm -hmm. 
So we have to hear, first of all, from the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is the primary knowledge. And Srimad Bhagavatam is more like graduate and Chaitanya Charitamrita is postgraduate. In the scriptures it said, Atashi Krishna Nabhavi Nabhavet Gryam Indriyani. That we cannot understand Krishna by our senses, but he reveals himself when we perform service, and that service is done with the tongue. Use the tongue to chant and to take prasada. So people need to hear the Maha Mantra. Right? We say the ninth offense in chanting Hare Krishna is to instruct the glories of the holy name to the faithless person. So people, you know, a lot of people, they don't have faith, they don't have much, any faith. So we don't tell them the philosophy, we, but, but we let them hear the mantra, we let them take part in the kirtan, let them hear the holy name. And by hearing the holy name, and taking prasadam, they develop faith. Then they're ready to hear. So, yes? Can I ask a um, <coughs> If we go out on the streets uh, to do the Haryana, <coughs> Is it, is it, how important is it to have um, like a high, high elevated uh, devotee among the uh, Harimam group? Is it important or if there is no uh, such high devotee elevated, uh, should we go anyway outside the streets? Yes, yes, we go anyway. Who are, who are these high elevated devotees anyway? <laughs> Who are, who are these high elevated? Where are they? Where do you get these high elevated? A Prabhupada sent the devotees out on Harinam in the beginning of the movement. Everybody was new devotees, but they, because they had faith in the holy name, they're chanting the holy name. So they're high elevated devotees. They're going out on Harinam. They are the highly elevated devotees because they're, do they're going out to chant. Oh, the high, ele high elevated devotees, where are they? Oh, they're sitting in the temple. <laughs> they don't go for Harinam. No, they go for Harinam. If they're highly elevated, they'll go out on Harinam. They'll take pleasure in distributing the holy name. Lord Chaitanya would chant the holy name everywhere. He would go and chant, he'd be ch even he's on his own, he'd be chanting. In the Jarakanda, he was chanting to the animals. So, we are following Lord Chaitanya. Everyone goes Sankirtan. Everyone should join the Sankirtan party. They're all highly elevated devotees who do Sankirtan. Krishna Varnam Tavisha Krishnam Sango Pangrista Parsadam Yagnai Sankirtan Praye Yajantihi Sumedasaha. Sumedasaha. They have a purified brain. They have a good brain, an auspicious brain, because they're doing Sankirtan. Some, some of the devotees I know, they, uh, for example, they don't want to go to the Harnam because there are not enough people, for example. There are three, three persons and they need like you know, a, a, a beautiful Harinam with at least 10 people 
then they will they, they consider that this this will have an impact on people. But if there are three devotees, it's not. A well, if there are three sincere devotees, if they can chant the holy name nicely, that's the main thing. You know, sometimes we would go on Harinam on our own. We'd just go one, one person would chant, other person would distribute. You don't need a lot of people. One, one sincere soul. One moon is better than millions of stars, right? If you have one moon in the sky, it's better than millions of stars. So you don't need a lot of people. If you have a lot of people, oh, okay. But sometimes just one, two people, it's very nice. We have to have faith. You want to give the holy name? Let people hear the holy name. Nam, did the Nam, Namaruchi party come here? Did they come here sometimes? And they're not so many people, are they? They do nice thank you time. Track so many people. Yeah. One person can do hurry now. You don't need a lot of people. You can have a lot of people. It can be maybe more fun. But even one person. Probably one person could go out, another person will come along and join. Mm -hmm. The faith is uh, most important. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. We have to have that faith. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Hare Krishna. Shiva Bhagavatam ki jai. Shiva Prabhupada ki jai. Sanskrit Bhakti Vikna Vinashinasi Namaraj ki jai. Or back to Vindaki. Prabhu, you're not. I, I can't use. I can't charge my phone. There's no. I don't have an adapter for this. Oh, I can read. Beautiful dress. Very nice. Is it made by the body? Well, uh, in the oven. Made in the oven. Made in the oven. We have one tool. Two tool in the oven who is part making dresses for us for many years. We've got a lot of shield at the end. Four. Padmanabha, Kiriyash, Kurma definition. Do you have such shields? Do you have shields? No. You're Russian, are you? I'm Swiss. <laughs> Who's the Russian? All of them. Do you, do you from Ukraine, actually? Oh, from Ukraine? Yeah, from oh. refugees. Ukraine. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we have many who came after the war. So oh, yeah, they yeah. came after the war. Yeah. How many we have in Switzerland? The world is from Ukraine, maybe 100. Oh, really? Yeah. So many outside. Yeah. Okay. They, they've got settled somewhere in Switzerland? The government's taking care of them. Taking care? Yeah. Get them jobs? <laughs> first, first of all, education. Language. They learn German. And well, no, I would. Yeah, the government is quite um, generous. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Generous? Mm -hmm. they, they, yeah. 
Да, 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 The government take care of them also? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Wish that war would get over with that. I mean, it's still going on, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have to wait for Putin to die or something. <laughs> <laughs> The Boris, one of the most villains in the whole world, scattered them in every country. Yes, yeah, good. Many yeah, bodies. <laughs> Many countries they need the bodies. Yeah, actually, we are benefiting from all the bodies who come. Swiss, they are mostly quite absorbed in material life. Even the Baltic states are not. Mm-hmm. Once they reach the temple, and the Ukrainians, they have more of this mm-hmm. culture to mm-hmm. prioritize the community and the devotion. Swiss, uh, the more you go west, now everybody's very individual. They, they have their own place, they have their own. They, they don't like this community. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're very separatistic. Mm-hmm. So we are happy. Get people dying. Yeah, yeah, it's good for us. Also, they're doing service. There's several Swiss devotees in Vrindavan, right? Makunda Datta, that's well. Yes. And Tanatana, and Tanatana, the one who takes care of the doctor. Makunda Datta, the one who takes care of the doctor. No, Makunda Datta, Jari. Yeah, is that who's taking care of the Gokshala Swiss? Uh, the one that some disciple of Lokanath Maharaj did. There was one Swiss devotee with me in China, Sankirtan. His name was Sankirtan Da. He was a Lokanath disciple. He got cancer by the time. And when I joined, I met him. He was at his home in 2015. He was with his sister. And I got a lot of blessings. And then on Chamastan, which is a few weeks after that. Yeah, and he left on the bed. He was so thin, I remember still. He was on the bed. Like the fasting, but he was preaching so strongly. Really? Yeah. I had long hair. <laughs> and when he saw me, <laughs> he asked, Who is this? <laughs> they said, yeah, this is part of the Dominic, he just came new, then he started to preach to me, he said, this attraction between men and women is what binds you in this material world, so you should give it up. <laughs> yeah, he's a staunch parameter. <laughs> and so, I think I saw a picture once from, uh, I think it was you, uh, Sankirtan Prabhu, Tamar Fisher, and maybe one more in China. I saw in Dallas mm-hmm. a black white photo how you doing Harinam in the streets of China. No, no, we don't do it. We don't usually do Sankirtan in the streets of China. But back then we didn't do it. Not in the street. We would go in the park. Okay. In the park. But not in the street. It was some kind of park, yeah, that's true. So, was that a photo with Karl Marx there, a big statue? Yeah, there was a statue. Of yeah, I'm not in that picture, but ah, that and some other devotees, yeah, there's a famous picture yeah, in the park. Yeah, Karl Marx. Marx. Yeah. And, yeah, thank you, Tan. We went into China, he was in the beginning, he went to Shanghai, I was in Guangzhou. So that photo was taken in Shanghai. You went all alone? Alone? No, one, one person. Other, another guy was with me. 
one devotee from Hong Kong came with him. And Sankirtan, he came with another Swiss boy, one of his friends from Switzerland. So you built up the whole Piatra. Yeah. <laughs> How many devotees are there now? Well, who's the, I don't know who is really the devotee. It's hard to say. You know. China. Uh, who is really the devotee? But there are a lot of thousands of good things from the whole country. But there's so many people there.
Thank you. 